Hi everyone and welcome to the Venezuela Weekly News Review. I'm Ryan Maltoutram, a staff writer here at VenezuelaAnalysis.com. This week the biggest news from Venezuela was President Nicolas Maduro's surprise announcement that 100 Bolivar notes would be phased out over just two weeks. Venezuelans had just three days this week to trade their notes in at private banks and will have another five days next week to trade the 100 Bolivar notes in at the central bank. Maduro has explained the relatively small transition period was essential to ensure the new currency doesn't immediately fall into the hands of smugglers and currency speculators, who he blames for the collapse in the Bolivar's value over the last few months. However, the move has also sparked some criticism from Venezuelans, arguing the transition has hit businesses hard and could leave people in rural areas behind. Amid the currency transition, Maduro has also awarded the closure of Venezuela's borders with Colombia and Brazil. The closures were announced Tuesday and were initially slated to last for three days. However, on Thursday, Maduro announced the closures would continue for at least another 72 hours. In other news, Venezuela's National Assembly has relaunched a political trial against Maduro. In a unanimous vote on Tuesday, legislators from a right-wing opposition coalition, the MUD, declared the president politically responsible for the grave rapture of a constitutional and democratic order, human rights violations, and the devastation of a social and economic foundation of the nation. The government has responded by labelling the proceedings a coup. And those are all of our top stories this week. As usual, don't forget there's more details on all of these stories and more over at VenezuelaAnalysis.com. Thanks a lot. See you next time.